your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. Hello everybody and welcome back into our channel. My name is The Wolf and thank you so much Chanel, for all your beautiful support which you were shown on, on our channel here. So we are currently playing Project Hospital. We're actually now into our second episode of the um, season or of a series. Um, so between the last episode and this episode um, we've actually um, started planning um, this little section over here and uh, which I will just show you very quickly so this area here is actually for our general surgery um, department I think it is or is it no so I do apologize <laughs> it's not a general surgery it's actually for um, orthopedic um, section here um, so we will be getting all this here sorted out and these up here sorted um, but as part of the um, section here um, I think it's actually for a specialized clinic um, at any specialized department I think that is actually for this section here um, I'm not 100% sure if that will be the right one um, but just in case we are actually going to get that sorted um, but we do need to um, get this here leveled out and um, so we can come into this section here um, so we do need to place in the corridor area so before I actually forget as well um, <laughs> uh, we do actually need to um, get like some certain bits sorted out um, for this um, so if you're not already done so please do subscribe um, uh, to the channel down below um, so then we can uh, so and also turn on the notification bell um, as well um, yeah that's sorted there actually um, yeah so <laughs> before I had to forget on this um, please do subscribe turn on the notification bell so then that you can then be notified when we upload a brand new video um so yeah again thank you so much and that for all of your beautiful support uh which you've actually shown here on the channel um so we are actually going to be getting all of our little sections here done but we do actually need to as well now place this corridor in here because we can now sort this out to allow for this here to be done so what we are going to do is here, yeah, we're going to very quickly come into our walls. We're actually going to get this wall here, pump this in, and then we can then sort out these walls. This here is going to have a different wall, by the way, so please be aware of that. Um, these bits here, I can actually just come down that because these here are going to have um, for walls on anyway because um, I think uh, which one is it yeah so it's not actually that one there it's actually this here um, so we do we do need to make sure that we got that right <laughs> for that so we're actually going to whip this one by two here very quickly and we're going to select our pick at all again we're actually going to grab our walls what we're needing and then we're going to pop round to there pop down to there and do this here very quickly next what we're going to do is we're actually going to be taking out the wall here and also here and this will then allow for people to come around properly in this area next what we're going to do is we're then going to be selecting our uh, flooring what we've been using for this area and um, so don't worry if some of these corridors seem a lot more wider there are actually three wide um so it's just with the angle of it will seem a little bit different and now for this section here okay we're actually wanting to try and pick a different color so what i'm actually going to do here i'm actually going to go with green and then we're actually going to then place the green walls going straight around uh get this here sorted out get these here sorted okay um, it doesn't really matter about certain things at this moment of time 
but what we are going to do is we're actually going to take that wall out there very quickly we're then going to pop around by two next we're going to come back into here and we're then going to get this built straight across we can sort out the staff area here um, at the same time get this built in and that is then done there next what we can do is very quickly is to sort out our little section there but before we do that let's just get that section there done then we are found by two again and um, because we're needing to sort out these walls in here again very quickly next we're going to then go with our toilet floors okay so we're actually going to select that select the green and then that will then go straight into there like so next we need to then place in the carpet for this area or the flooring for this area next we are then going to select the floor for there and then select the floor for this section here which is going to be like a green style color that's if it has gone green um, I'm not too sure and then this section here so what we're actually going to then do is might have because of this this section here right we are actually going to be popping straight into this here we're then going to come into here and I think this will actually register as being a um, specialist um, a department and that's what I'm hoping for and um, to be honest with you um, so I'm hoping if we can get this done Um, I don't know why this doesn't for some reason some of this stuff here doesn't want to connect up properly um, for some reason so let's just whip around around this way here put that, that to there place two seats in Uh, let's just move that over to there, move that over to there, move that to there, move that to there. Next, we're then going to place one of these in. Then a quick bin, the usual table, chair, computer, and printer next we're then going to very quickly place um, this into here whip this back around this way for a moment um, so it's stating here lab sink or normal sink we're actually going to go with a normal sink and then we are needing so if I can just very quickly get in a sofa because why not because it's a sofa pop back into here pop into here again Grab a table, we're going to place that there, grab a CRP section and that is pretty much that there done. Now with this we are then going to place in the door, okay for that section there and that is now done. Here we're actually going to then have um, like a couple of um, screens like that there one of the um, Q um, machines okay and we're then going to then place this along next we've actually got green ear this entrance here will have to be like that for now um, because of the fact that we don't have really nowhere else to go uh, with that and then a very quick water um, dispenser area here so I think we might be able to put that there 
Our next section is then actually for toilet and then also for restricted area for the cleaning. Here we're actually going to place in for toilet, the sink, the bin and the iron dryer and that there is actually that section done. So we are going to get that moving along. That should have registered it as being an open clinic at any specialised um, department. Um, if not, then like, we need to reconsider on how we're going to do this section here um, because we should be fine with that. So what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to go and get one with this kind of like a bone area here. We're actually going to go with John Taylor. Okay, now we've got that done. Okay, we can now go and get a um, enable hospitalization at emergency. Okay, or we can do this here, right? So we can add on this one here so we can then get 25 patients coming in each time um, so that is perfectly fine right and we're just needing to have one of the person area there and we can then unlock hospitalization which will be perfectly fine so we should be okay to now very quickly whip through like so um, and we should be alright now um, to get all this started. So we do actually need to sort out the rest of the x-ray section down here and all the testing section down here. We do need to get that done <laughs> unfortunately and we do need it doing uh, because otherwise we're not going to have that, that done um, straight away. So we've got patients now coming in uh, which is great um, they're actually going straight in for this one here um, so they're actually going to get checked over um, they are actually going in for x-ray upper limb so they will be awfully coming around getting the x-ray done right and hopefully that will then give us the full diagnosis there I am so happy with that. <laughs> I really am so so happy with that. Um, so we do need to really really think about trying to make sure that we've got enough of everything entirely for this. Um, we do however have blood there and some blood there as well. So what we do need to do now it's just to help this along, we're actually going to hire a couple more um, of the cleaners in. I know this cleaning area is not really the best, but that's okay that is because we just need to try and get all this area clean because this is where people are going to be coming to. Now I have noticed here we've actually started to get a few more patients coming in now okay um so what we are going to do is we're going to do the usual thing we're going to copy and then paste this straight into here as this being part of that area and we're then going to go one there and then one there next we are going to come down and build for corridor we're going to whip up the walls on that straight away and then we're then going to take out this wall here uh, because we need that, that doing. Next we're going to come into here and we're then going to start hiring some more of the doctors in because um, that's <laughs> we, we need to kind of like keep up with that as best as possible because of the amount of people we're going to be having in this area here. Um, because we needed to get everybody all sorted and uh, there is actually one other doctor I do need to get in um, for this so we are actually going to go with this one here um, just to try and help relieve some of the pressure off the doctors here because we we do need to try and get up to 20 patients 
in one day for us to um, sort this out. So I'm just going to get a quick drink of Iron Brew. So we've got a 20. The next target now is going to be 30. And we also need to treat five people in the specialized unit here. You see, um, so I'm not too sure how many we've actually done on this one here, to be honest with you, because um, it's, I'm not too sure on really how to double check that. Everything is all going well here. We don't have to worry about the pharmacy situation in this section here. Now, now the good thing about, <coughs> excuse me, um, about these cleaners, they won't just clean their own area initially. If there's enough time, they will go around and clean up everywhere else as well. And just to give it enough um, cleanliness in the hospital. And that's what we're actually wanting. Um, so that's actually quite a good thing. Now we do actually need to take down this wall here um, because of the fact that that there at this moment of time will actually connect quite perfectly into this section here. Um, so we've actually kind of got a two way area. So then these patients here don't have to walk all the way down here to go up. And they can go from here and over. Before I also forget as well, let's just sort out the um, little section here. Whip this around. Uh, try and get my directions. There we go. Um, I just lost my direction then a little bit. <laughs> and then we can then just pop in the walls there very quickly. And that is pretty much done. So what else can we actually do with the almost 58,000 well for 58,000 what we're going to have there for expenditure we can potentially finish this area off here which is actually our um, our medical laboratories so I just had to think then Literally, I just had to think then, and because we've also got this here as well, you see. Um, I think this is actually... Um, I actually forgot what this one is. Um, what is this here? Oh yes, yeah, sorry, we've got a general surgery there as well. Um, I totally forgot about that. Uh, so we've got a general surgery here. So we can do these two here, then we can then concentrate then on general surgery. Now, I did set these bits up here um, initially to try and help us through. So what we can do is, we can start on this section here, get this done, um, because we're needing to get that working. Um, because that is going to then help us um, for the future basis of the um, growth of the hospital. Now, don't worry about the, um, the, the these areas here, right, for um, staff-wise, um, because at this moment of time, um, we just don't really have... Um, the proper amount of everything at this moment um, so we do need to make sure that we've got that sorted um, eventually now I'm not too sure when that's going to be um, because at the end of the day it is um, kind of like a bit of a pain <laughs> to try and get that that initially set up but we are going to then just very quickly click this, bring this over, so it's actually exactly the same. Next, we're going to come into here, and then what we're going to do is, we're going to grab some lab desks, and we're going to try 
and set it up as we did on that one there. So one, two, three, four. With one more there. Uh, we're going to have two desks um, for people. And we're going to place this here because that is really needed. We're then going to have our uh, glass. We also need in one of these. So I can place that there and um, because that's just a nice spot for that. We do also need to get two computers in. Grab two chairs in. Grab um, a couple of our sample fridges. And next we can then chuck in a printer and then here because it's this uh, we need to make sure that we've got that kind of covered as well so we could place that there which is fine considering um, because there's really no other <laughs> place to place that right now um, so that's that there done next we're going to come um, into ER and next we are going to go and grab one two three four next is then going to be our PCs one and two then two chairs because we can get double staffing we need in a stall analyzer we then need in one of these medical things um, a microscope uh, we can place a printer down at the bottom here which will be fine we need in a sample fridges we need in glass tubing a lab analyzer next we need in a sink and then we've got then um, one and two here next what we can do we can actually come in pick that up and just move that over like that and then we then got a beam then as well so let me just get that put into there so don't worry about these bits here because we have got them in our next section then is going to be then our doors just to make sure that is all done and next we can then go in and get our um, stuff what we need in so we're actually going to then go with um, Robert Tyler for one of them next we're then going to go with a Rachel Lopez this unit bit here we're then going to go with a Susan Wilson and then we are going to go with no one on this one because they're pretty bad We've got a 73 there 87 um, let's just double check oh here we go so we can actually have this one here because they are 96 but they're also going over to this so we've got a 96 CO and they're going over to the infants so I'm actually going to go with that one okay and then that is then our section there completed fully so we've got all this set up here um, which is great um, because at the end of the day right we need to get this general surgery section here done as well with these little bits down here to get done on top um, so we it is quite a lot to get built down here but some of these here I like I like near enough around about 40 50 thousand in game dollars just to buy some of the stuff here but we can easily do this one here if we wish and that's what we probably may do um, because I'm wanting to um, get that done so let's just okay them there because someone went out on a little bit of a on, on like a jinky pews um, and got a little bit intoxicated um, so that's okay that's okay so let's get the um, day started 
All right, and we've actually got here 21 women to staff, and it's 400 there. Our overall rating is not massively the best, but because we need our, radi our radiology um, department um, to get built up a bit more down here. Okay, and that's what this is down here. We should have enough doctors down here for now because we have got six doctors here. We can get a seventh one in if we need to, and which is perfectly fine because we have got a space there for one more. And then we've got then all the necessary parts of what we need in for this to run smoothly. Now we do want to try and treat 30 patients in one day. But we also need to treat five patients per day out of the specialised department, which is this department here. Um, so speaking of that, actually, we may actually need to possibly build another one of these. And that there is that a potential situation that we may need to do that. That's why I've left some of this room back here um, to get that done. And then we've then got a footpath or a corridor to come down here into this section here which would then have a no entry sign there now this situation here is that we will need to try and get this done as uh, quickly as possible uh, so let's go into the diagnosis here very quickly um I'm probably going to say that it's a chronic kidney and um, we're then going to put um, them onto um, some form of medication um, so I'm actually going to just send them off to another hospital because we just don't have that kind of treatment at this moment of time here just to get that sorted unfortunately so we do actually miss out on one on one patient uh, which is a shame and um, because at the end of the day we were trying to get up to that point so let's go to on this here so we really definitely need these two bits here which is the ECG and the MRI um, a situation sorted I will probably place this onto ER um, and try and give them a Boston brace as a potential thing. Now they may, yeah. So so we definitely need a diagnostic unit and um, for that um, for that one there, um, but. We, we do need to try and get that sorted out now we have got that there sorted um, but we ne then need an open hospitalization at any specialized department now for that for the that side of things we we really need to try and sort out this section here um, as quickly as possible because we do actually need the MRI scan um, situation done but we also then need to work on trying to get the R1 here done as well. So what we are going to do is we're actually going to build very quickly our um, next section of the next three rooms. These here, here at this moment of time might not need to be done straight away, but we do need to get this sorted. Um, literally as quickly as possible um, due to the fact that we, we are getting into that point of a um, medical um, care where we do need to provide for full care for that so what we are going to do is here very quickly we are actually going to do this here bring this over as always because it's an x-ray room and we're needing to make sure that we've got a full um, x-ray system um, in place so we can keep number one our staff safe but also then keeping our patients safe 
now what we then need to do is now is to remove this wall out coming to here we need to select this here bring this over select this bring this into up here and then also here as well we then need them to go into our x-ray door which is there and there the easier you can get away with a restricted area um, kind of situation on this here so that's what we're going to do next we're going to then come into here we're then going to place our um, MRI scanner in next we are then going to go then with our um, room of um, x-ray radio um, like like boxes you could class that as um, so we are going to get that done there and I think that is pretty much it for that but what we are going to do is here very quickly we are actually going to place one and two three four and five extra windows we're then going to come into here we're going to come here and we're now needing to get radiology um uh, percentages i think to be honest with you just to get this open quickly we do need to get that done and this one here is a bit more of the one of those kind of like rooms where it is going to be a pain to set up um, because I think a lot of people have actually had, had problems with this before where they was trying to set up um, their entire system on this and it, it never really wanted to work properly for them um, so what we are going to try and do is is to actually get this set up as uh, quickly as possible we do need a chair we do need a PC for this we also need to have a sink and a printer onto there next a quick foam oh and we don't have normally <laughs> okay we don't have normally so <laughs> we do need to get that sorted out there and there we go and let's get this here done All right so we've got a bin we needing a disinfectant and stuff we need in um, one of these in um, let's get a thing in um, an extra table for our lab analyzer and that's that there done we're then going to come into here and into here we are going to be placing this here then we need in to get our um, extra graph um, system there I think that's how you say it next we then need in to get our table in with a chair and the usual PC we're going to then place a printer in we're then needing a table uh, we're needing one of these in we need one of these in we need in one of these <coughs> and then one of these with a sink and then a beam okay that should now be enough to at least get this started so we're going to go with Linda next here we are going to then go with Rachel Williams and that there is our a little section there done as best as possible and we do 
we had to get this set up here uh, we, we had no choice to um, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to really get anything else else done with this now we could actually go and get a, a um, hospitalization at a specialized department but to do that we're needing so much more money now we made quite a bit of immigration on this now i am aware that um this series is going to be like an hour long episode um because there is a lot to get done on this and we still got a lot of gaps here to sort out as well um like down here 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 and here um but at the end of the day we we do just need to try and whip through this as best as possible but then also still make sure that we've actually got enough then to get everything all done this here is so ideally i didn't want to get alone <laughs> ideally um but i had to to get those to get that final room done um yes i could have done like without getting the full forty thousand, but thankfully i did and um, because otherwise we would have been in the bed um let's have a look at you here so let's get you put in for these here um so we can get this done um just to see what actually happens with this um because i want him just to make sure that we've got all aspects actually sorted out for it um because we we definitely need to to get this sorted now this year we do actually need a diagnostic unit so for diagnostic unit and we've also got a body brace as well so that's fine actually so we can do that um for some reason this is not allowing me to take that off there for some reason um i'm not too sure why but i think that brace should be perfectly fine with that uh so what else can we initially do with this here so we still got this unit up here which is the um, general surgery um, department here we also need to try and open up a hospital a hospitalization um unit uh, for this um but unfortunately right yeah we're not reaching up to like for 35 patients a day right now we're only initially like getting 24 in right now uh, which is a shame because we really could do with those extra patients um, right now um which is quite annoying so we've still got a lot more down here to try and get done so i reckon maybe for the next episode we will take a a large loan and and we will then open up the hospitalization at any specialized department so what would that mean for this entire thing well we've got technically the um so we don't have that there we can actually do general surgery department on on this bit here which is this here and we can actually bring in for hospitalization in with this now as for the operating rooms right yeah i think i would probably want to move this up to like like the next floor up um 
but I think we may need to potentially do it back here and um, to be honest with you um, so we needing to build this amount bring this up and set up all this here so what we are going to do is before we do anything else for this episode and before finishing it off we're actually going to go in and set up a new corridor in we're going to bring this corridor over to here um, bring this over to here bring this to here um, bring this back down this way so we've then got this this section here done we've already got these here set up already and what we can do here we can actually bring in a regular ward so our regular ward is actually going to become so it's initially 3 plus for 1 so that is potentially 3 4 5 then 1 2 3 4 5 okay I reckon that we could potentially so it's 3 6 8 so we could do it like that there for a ward next we need in a nurse's station so a nurse's station could actually potentially go somewhere else and then this is then over to there uh, 368 to there nurse's station on this can come to here corridor um, area can actually come up uh, to here at this moment of time we can then do a basic lounge to here on call room can come to here replan this bit out here just a tad bit more okay and then we are then needing a diagnostics unit onto this so we need to bring in a diagnostic unit I reckon to about there should be just enough. Uh, Cardiography. Uh, we could actually do to about there. Bring this one in as well to here. And then bring in the corridor just a little bit more up to this way here and bring this down to here and then what we then got then is operating rooms so our operating rooms uh, will need to be quite big so I'm actually going to go by 14 by 8 on these so 14 by 8 and then 14 by 8 these are actually shared areas this is and then we then need in and potentially just a little waiting room again and um, there with a restroom and a cleaning closet this ear is going to be our um our area for the hospitalization okay so we've got a ward we've got our um, hdu which is the eye dependency unit we've got a nursing station and we've also then got our um on call um team here as well this here will allow us to bring in the emergency department from down here over to here as well in just in case um, because of his surgical teeth 
each side of these are going to have a door in. The I dependency team is going to have three doors um, because of the situation of surgery and etc. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Out of this entire hospital for the hospitalization and also the general surgery department, this here is going to be our largest part of this hospital at this point in time initially just for one specialization so that's what we're actually going to be going with and hopefully we can actually get that built by taking a massive loan out and get them in because on free hospitalization you can earn quite a lot when people actually stay overnight but that means then we're needing then nighttime staff um, as well as daytime staff so this is really massively important to actually get this right. So maybe in the next episode, we are going to take out a massive loan. We are going to come along and do this here, um, special this area here, because this is a massive bit. Okay, and we can then get that done there. So um, I let this carry on playing through. So till the next time, everybody, thank you so much um, for coming to join us. Yet again, if you haven't subscribed, please do and um, press that subscribe button down below turn on for notification bells uh, so then you can then be notified when we upload my new video and also please do give us a beautiful thumbs up and leave a comment down below to see what you would like on one of our later episodes because some of these episodes are going to be pre-recorded pre um, as a batch so we will get back to the comments <laughs> as quickly as we can um, so until um, then everybody and um, until the next episode we'll catch you all later and um, yeah again my name is Wolf I'll see you all later uh, bye that is your chance to be hey kid don't ever let them get inside your head they'll tell you what to do in life instead